But the thing is, you know, I've done tons of stuff on them, but first and foremost, they're really easy to use, they're fun, and they're an absolute no-brainer. So why on earth would I be saying, let's put Mac OS on it and turn it into a proper Mac computer? Well, here's the thing, right? These iPads now are essentially Mac computers in all but operating system, and especially with the now up and coming M4 iPad Pro. And indeed, Apple have gone back and done their weird tricks now with the M4 range. Just a quick sidestep here to justify something that I'd said on like my previous video about the M4 iPads. What it is, uh, for the very first time now, as far as um, iPads are concerned, what Apple have done, have now done a multi-tiered CPU system. So for the very first time with the introduction of the M4 iPad Pros, we have now got 9-core and 10-core CPUs. Now, I'm not going to go delving into that. I've already done a video about it. But what that basically shows us is that a platform, which up until now has always had the exact same CPU performance, whether it was an 11-inch or like, you know, the 12.9, or whether or not you bumped it up and had like extra storage, the CPU or the processing capabilities of every iPad within every range that they've ever been in has been identical across the board. However, now we are being introduced to iPads which will be more powerful uh, against like one another within the same range, so 9-core versus 10-core. Now, what that is saying to me is we are definitely now looking at iPads as if they are Macs because that trick there of using bin CPUs and whatnot to try and leverage even more out of like a particular range is exactly what Apple do with Mac, you know, probably more so with the MacBooks. But, you know, it's something that is definitely a Mac thing, which is now happening to iPad. And then you've got to say, well, OK, well, if they're doing that and we've effectively got all the guts of a Mac inside the iPad, why don't we just put Mac OS on the iPad? Anyway, so getting up to the point now where I think I can make one, uh, a suggestion as to how this can be done. But two, I think hopefully my little ram so far I've uh, basically convinced you that yeah you know maybe now is the time to do this because we are now not looking at something which is like that like they, well they've never been cheap obviously but they've been way cheaper than a MacBook but something which is like being convenient cheaper than the MacBook and something that isn't quite a Mac but now we're now reaching the point where there's iPad Pro configurations which cost a lot more than particular MacBooks yet the MacBook will always be a lot more useful or a lot more usable because of the types of software because that's the other main point here we have got hardware with inside these new iPads where where like, you know, it's the same as the Macs, but we cannot run the Mac software on them. And I just don't think there's any point in spending all that money on an iPad Pro if you cannot get access to the types of software that could be utilized on the hardware that's within them. So basically, I think there's my case anyway for saying why we should have it. Now, what I'm going to suggest here is how we go about doing this because somebody out there is probably sitting there and already thought to themselves, hold on a minute, David, you've just shot yourself in your foot because you've already said that this thing here was never meant to be this thing here. This thing here has got a touch interface. This thing hasn't. And this thing here has got an operating system which is designed for a non-touch interface. And this thing here has got an operating system which is designed for a touch interface. Now, if that's what you've been thinking, I would say you are absolutely correct. However, I'm not actually flawed in my suggestion here, and here is why. And here is probably the main point of this kind of like suggestion. And this is how Apple could do it. All we need to do is have two operating systems on the iPad. Now you have to remember the iOS or the iPad OS operating system is relatively small. And now that we are now going to the base storage unit of 256 gigabytes we're only going to lose about eight gigabytes of that assigned to ipad os anyways so what we could do or what apple could do is have both of the operating systems kind of merge together not as one operating system but maybe just a soft function switch on the ipad which switches between them or something which can also auto sense so as a for instance when you've got your iPad just like in it's kind of like on its own in there we say iPad mode, 
it automatically switches over to iPad OS because obviously you've got nothing else attached to it. So you do need to access it via touch. Now, at that point, I would suggest that you're not able to switch Mac OS on at that point because you can't interact with Mac OS via touch. Maybe at some point Apple will address that and they will start putting touch functionality with inside Mac OS and then maybe at some point as well they'll end up doing like you know touchscreen Macs which is something that I've never wanted to see either but seems as Apple are now blaring the lines with their own products I think all of this is just all going crazy and up for grabs anyway but nonetheless the iPad could just be in touch mode when it's on its own. And then when you attach, say, the magic keyboard to it, maybe it prompts you and says, would you like to now move over to Mac OS? And then a simple yes then means that you lose the touch interface because Mac OS isn't touch, but you then start using the keyboard and your trackpad on the magic keyboard or what you could also do, as soon as you plug in something like, say, a Thunderbolt dock or a USB-C dock, which are going to be attached, say, to monitors, mice, keyboards, and such like, once again, you then get the software option on the iPad to switch over to Mac OS and then take full advantage of whatever's connected via the docking units. Like I say, that could be anything from mice, keyboard to monitors, also storage devices, anything that you want to attach to the iPad in very much the same way as you would attach it to a MacBook or a desktop Mac. Anyways, I think I've probably covered the things that I wanted to get off my chest in this video. Now, if anybody did get up to the end of this video and whatnot, let me know in the comment section what you think. But I think, you know, wh whether you agree with everything that I've said here, I would imagine that some people out there are probably going to sit there and go, yeah, you know what, that nut job, he probably has got a point on some of these things. Now, would they say that a lot of other people are now thinking something similar? So I think now now would be the time for Apple to basically take on board the general consensus of people with regards to wanting, you know, a more professional operating system on an iPad Pro because gone are the days where the iPad is that simple device that we all used to love. I mean, I still love it, but it is it is definitely not the simple device that it was. And now I personally feel very short changed with all the money that I'm about to pay for my M4 iPad Pro. And even though I'm only buying the base one it's basically 25% more than the last one that I bought so at that point I want more out of it if I'm going to be spending that account you know that amount of money on an iPad it's as simple as that anyway like I said there's a lot more other things I could have delved on about in there and all the rest of it and hopefully I didn't miss too much out in the main things that it is that I wanted to say but let me know in the comments what your thoughts on this are and I dare say we're going to find a lot more people now wanting to kind of like yeah let, let, let's get a proper OS on the iPad so that we can start using all of our proper apps on an iPad. Anyways, if you've liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. And I will be doing a whole bunch of stuff to do with the M4 iPad Pro as soon to get all of that. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.